Hey everyone, this is Jody from Jordison Art coming to you from my kitchen in Phoenix, Arizona. So just a brief overview, I was looking through Facebook, one of our groups yesterday. I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly which one it is because I look at so many of them. And I saw this beautiful painting and then there was a YouTube link underneath and it was to Waterfall Acrylics because I want to give credit to the creator where credit is due. And when I looked at it, it said flip cup, but to me it looked more like a Shelley art style bloom. So I wanted to learn a little bit more about it. So I went and I looked at the video and what I realized is she was using all of the pouring medium paints with the cell activator from the bloom technique, but she was incorporating that into a flip cup with a little drag and it made it super interesting. So I'm pretty excited to try it because my origins are actually in acrylic pouring. That's where I started my journey and I still really love it, but because it's so hot outside here, I'm still not able to get back into the garage because I make a mess when I'm acrylic pouring and the bloom technique allowed me to come inside because it uses a lot less paint. So I'm going to go on the other side of the camera right now and I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to bring you guys with me. So, so today we're going to be working on a hexagon canvas. They're not my favorite, but it was on sale. So the first color we're going to lay down is the black cell activator. Up next, we're going to use golden fluid acrylic teal. Up next, we have light red naphtal, another golden fluid acrylic paint. Now we're going to add a little Deco Art 24 karat gold. Then we have the Dioxine Purple, another golden fluid acrylic color. And lastly, we're going to add the Quinacridone or Quinacridone Magenta, one of my favorite colors. Lastly, we're going to put on that white cell activator and I'm just going to lay that right on the top. Try to cover it, most of it. And we're going to flip it. So all of my pouring mediums and measurements that I use are in the description below on this video. Um, that includes the cell activator. I am using Australian Floetrol. Some people have luck with the US Floetrol. I don't. Um, so all of my cell activator is made with Aussie Floetrol. Let's pick it up and see what we got. So right away we see some really vibrant colors coming up, those deep reds. And take a little closer look. So if you look in the middle, you'll see almost a fluorescent pink color. That's from the naphtal light red mixing with the white. That is a fluorescent pigment. And when mixed with white, lots of times you'll get a very fluorescent look to it. Just popping some air bubbles. And now I'm going to give this a pretty slow spin. Now I sped this video up so I'm actually spinning it faster. It looks faster than I actually am spinning it. And I'm going to start tilting to the corners. With hexagon, you don't want to spin so much because you'll spin most of the paint off before you cover all the corners. So I do spin and tilt. I'm gonna spread the paint out just a little bit more here. And we're gonna continue tilting, working on our composition, making sure we're getting all the corners covered. And we've got some beautiful, beautiful colors coming up in there. You can see the purples and the reds and a little bit of almost like a coral peach color in the middle. And you can see that deco art under the light coming through underneath the red color. It's really very, very pretty. So just trying to stretch it out, get into those corners. It's actually an odd looking painting, but I do like it. It's actually not anything like the painting that I was trying to replicate from Waterfall Acrylics. But, you know, with this type of painting, we never know what we're going to get. So it's just going to work on the edges a little bit. And let's pick it up, see what we got. So yeah, sometimes I use a little paint that spilled off to 
hit some places on the side that I didn't get. So this turned out really pretty. I'm really pleased with this. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.